All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the latest session of the Lost Mine of Fandelver. I'm Tim Anderson, a.k.a. Renfell, and I'm joined by Chrisma, Isidore, Sparrow, Bounty Code, and Simmer tonight. We are down a man. Um, the Nathan Napalm um, had some family uh, business to attend to this week, so he is not here tonight. Um, but the rest of us will be um, moving forward, and we won't. We will. We will try not to damage his character or break his crowbars or anything like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> we may have done with Ildor at one point upon a time. Um, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> the Paladin's fault. Um, so welcome Hi. back, everyone. All right, let's see. All right, as we're getting going here, um, let's see. Do we have any maintenance tonight? I don't think we have anything we really got to chat about too much tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got um, the giveaway still going on, which we've talked about in the previous episodes. Um, don't forget if you are a first-time viewer. Um, you can save your channel points and spend them to purchase items for your chosen friends in the game world. And you can also uh, spend points to control a player character or to control even me. Although we haven't had anybody do that for a while, thankfully. Mm -mm. That fireball at the oh, yeah. beginning was a little scary. Um, I think I have enough points. So. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to, though. We're playing this. <laughs> oh, divine intervention for myself if uh <laughs> you know against the dm if i if that was like something i could do but sadly it does not so last session um i actually should pull up this map real quick because we were still over there and i'm just going to pull it up for the yeah. viewers not for all of you because we already know what mm. we we're doing but let me get it up for the viewers here the ruins of thunder tree so last weekend, if you remember, um, everybody was here in the ruins of Thunder Tree, and they worked their way through, took off, uh, took out a bunch of zombies, uh, chased off a, well, killed a bunch of cultists, uh, and chased off a green dragon while almost getting their faces melted off in the process, and eventually um, managed to rid the town of that dragon, got back to the druid. Um, had a good night's rest, um, got a staff in the process, which we still haven't kind of figured that out yet. That's a that's a pretty powerful item that mm -hmm. that may just be a wild card type item as we continue the rest of this campaign. And now, um, and we also leveled up. And you leveled up to level four. Everyone yes. is level oh, four. Right. We did that. We did that at the end of last session off the air. Mm -hmm. um, and so everyone is now level four. And we are going to head back to Fandolin at this point because um, the party needs to restock. Let me get the map for Fandolin up here. Dun, 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 dun. Story. Pretty excited about the magic initiate feat that I picked up. I'm going to put that out there. Pretty excited about this. I might need a link to that staff that I got. I mean, I have it as a bludgeoning weapon, but I don't have it. Uh, we'll yeah. need to. Um, you can find it in the. If it's not in the player's handbook, let me know while I'm pulling up some map spare. If you want to check the player's handbook, if it's not there, I'll have to pull it from the DM's guide and I'll drop a link again. Uh, let's see here. I needed to get maps. Do 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 do. Lost my Fandolin map. Would that be an equipment? Possibly. I'm going to do a share of the Fandolin map real quick, just so that we have that on the screen right. for everybody. Um, and while you're doing that, I'm going to open up the DM guide. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have magical stuff in the weapons yeah it's probably going to be here in um magic items was it the staff of the woodlands sounds right yeah yeah a bunch of uh different yeah yeah i dropped that i dropped that link in there in the chat on the left 
Yeah, how's it? The staff can be wielded as a magic quarter staff that grants a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls. So it's automatically you're going to get a plus two on all your attack and damage rolls. That's um, huge. You're also going to get a plus two bonus to spell attack rolls. Um, so you may need to, um, in your inventory, um, have you dragged that into your inventory yet, Sparrow? Uh, no, I don't believe so. So you'll want to drag it in your inventory, and then you need to make sure that you have it equipped so that the bonuses and everything are automatically applied to your character. Yeah, I think this was a problem it didn't want to drag. Let me double check it here. Yeah, I got a blank spot there, and it won't drag into it. Okay, I might need to do it. If I can't, we'll have to manually do it, um, which is fine. Yeah. Right? I'm not quite sure how to. How to I'm not. Sh I, this was me throwing something in here that was not in the manual, so um, oh. DM's choice, and I'm not sure how to make all these items work sometimes. Yeah. So I think it just ended up as a quarter staff. Yep, in you my literally own. have eight quarter staffs, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna. Although it does say, you know why it says just quarter staff? Probably because you haven't identified it or you don't have a high enough intelligence to have it identified or something. Because if you click on the quarter staff to the right, the shield icon to the right of the quarter staff, um, mm -hmm. it just says item not identified. But it does show up as staff of woodlands for me. Try it now. Oh, there it goes. Yes, I unlocked it for there you. There it went. Okay. <laughs> nice. So, so awesome. now, now let's go ahead and um, make that. And do you know how to make it equipped? I. Uh, so you see that icon that has like a bag next to the shield icon where it says carried. If you hover over it. Here, I'll switch it for you, and you might see what I'm talking about. I. See. Oh, in my inventory. In, your, in no. your little inventory. I switched it now. It looks like it's a a breastplate, which means it's equipped. Do you see it in my bag? Because I don't. Yeah, I do. It's in your inventory on your inventory slot. Five up from the bottom. Mine has rope. <laughs> there it is. I see and it it's okay. also on your, it's literally on your weapons now in your actions tab. Here. So... So it's it's already got your bonuses applied for the plus two to everything now. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Has ten charges for the following properties. All right. Now, this is a super powerful item. If I feel, if if it starts getting a little crazy, we might we might have to do some role play that it it might be too much for you to handle. So we'll see how this we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> but you did get a really badass staff from the from the crazy stinky hermit who. Um, lives alone and let you sleep in his hut um and now you're on your way back um we're just gonna do a fast travel back to fandolin um at this point let's empty your bags everybody because you guys have got a ton of loot we've got gems everything else we need to get those sold um and we will use fandolin as a waypoint um since Nathan can't join us tonight, we will have his character. We'll say that his pink eye came back, and oh. he's gonna he's gonna rest up at the inn for another night, and he will catch up with you on the road on the following day. So, I don't remember how we did the selling last time. Is there a way to sell directly from your inventory, or do you have to mm -hmm. do we have to manually figure it all out? Um, uh, I've just been doing it manually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you click the shield yep. of an item, it'll come up and it'll say cost. It'll tell you how many gold pieces Perfect. is it. So you have to like manually yeah. add it. All right. Well, I'll let you folks do that real quick. Yeah. <coughs> Got the diamonds. So I'm gonna flip them. Um, if I sell this uh, family heirloom, it's two hundred. So that'd be forty each, right? Because isn't there five of us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred so from the gold here. So. I'm the we're splitting. Well, if splitting. you want me to do that for you, I can do that for yeah. you, Joey. Um, how much are you selling it for? Well, let me find it. I think it was 200 pendant. Uh, yeah, it's 200. That's the family heirloom. That's the only thing I'm splitting with you. 200 Sorry. which? 200 silver gold. Gold. <laughs> gold. You hear him? It's the only thing I'm splitting with you all. What else you got, homie? Oh, no, that's uh, nothing. Nothing of interest. Yeah, I nothing totally don't have any diamonds in my pocket either. <laughs> right. Sorry. There, you know. <laughs> All right. So I got, I, um, yeah, go ahead. 
I added that for everybody. Uh, those of you who are using arrows, don't forget to um, refill your ammunition. Um, so is there any way to arrows. split the split the diamonds up between everybody? Just too? tell me how much it is, and I'll do the split. Three hundred. Three hundred gold. Yeah, I'm actually gonna remove them now. Okay. Split between the party. That actually okay. is the only thing I got. Okay. From, it, that, from I just have it. That's really the only thing of value I've picked up along yeah. the way. Same here. I don't think I have anything in my inventory. Are you wanting to do any shopping while you're in town? <laughs> just some arrows. Maybe buy some healing potions, guys. Uh, silence the ninja loot narrative people. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Uh, how how much is a healing potion again? One hundred fifty. Um, checking um, real quick. I thought there were like forty gold. Oh, potion of healing. But double check. I've got four, and I'm kind of wondering if I ought to pick up more. It says fifty to a hundred, so. Oh, we'll just, there's a range? Yeah, I'll just say 50. Alright, give um, me give me two of those. I'll let you just add them to your inventory and just take away yeah, 100 gold. I'm going to do the same, actually, just to be safe. 50 each, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's where arrows. If you, yeah, if you, I'm, I'm considering could... arrows to be a non-cost item, because it's one of those things that's like silver coins for mm -hmm. arrows, so just you, you've got full arrows. Okay. How do I? Oh, where's the items? There it is. Never mind. I think I found and it. actually, <laughs> I'll also say this: since you know that you're going on an extended adventure at this point, let's just say that mm -hmm. those of you who use ranged weapons, you have your 20 arrows and another bundle of 20, like nice. in your packs. Um, right, that, that way, down. we don't have to worry about arrows when we're in the middle of the um, the middle of a cave. Okay. I'll do that for you real quick, Chris. Because I don't, I haven't taught you how to, I haven't showed you how to add things to your character inventory yet. Uh, where's your character? Christmas inventory. Just uh, extra um, arrows. Yeah, I'm just adding extra twenty arrows. So. Yeah. I have an unidentified item in my inventory. Can Which I is? get that? I don't know what it is. It just says Ooh. unidentified item. I'm betting that's from the very beginning because I think we talked about that last time. Right. Played characters, bounty code, inventory. Second from the bottom. Which one? What does it Second say? From the bottom. It says unidentified item in the name, literally. Oh, I see it. What is that? Oh, that's a potion of invisibility. <laughs> that's that's why it was unidentified. <laughs> it was right. invisible. Couldn't see it. Oh, what? The... You could feel it, but wow. it was unidentified. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think there's something yeah. in there. Hashtag. Oh not my open. gosh! The cost of that is five thousand to fifty thousand gold pieces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To buy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Ooh. Yeah, I wonder if I could buy robot. like a collar for my wolf that has like the spikes. So if he gets in a fight with another animal, it would help him. Give him okay. a like a damage shield. Yeah. Ah, damage shield. It's a neck armor for my wolf. I'll yeah. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah. 500 gold and I will give you a studded. Oh, I only have 200. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pull, the, pull the resources here. Um, yeah. let's see how that would work. Um, it's not going to, it's not going to add any armor class, but I would give it like a, here's, here's what we could do. We could do a 50% chance. Anytime something attacks you, there's a 50% chance if, upon a successful attack that the attacker will take 1d6 of damage. Oh, if, if, if you can, if you're willing to part with 500 gold. Uh, I'm willing to contribute to this. I'm willing to contribute to this. I have 296 right now. If the uh, if the three if three more people here 
No, two more aside from myself are willing to contribute 100. I'm it's willing to give 200. Boom. 100, 100 more from our, you know, donar, or, donar I have 29 para... electrum. I don't know how much that is. I'm asking Chris in Spanish real quick. Quieres donar plata o oro para un collar con metal? Al lobo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How much do you still need? I have no idea. I'm at 290. I have 296. Well, add add okay. it to 396 because I gave you 100. So and I, and I just gave you 200. Oh well, you've got okay. You're fine. Okay. Okay. So that puts me at 596. So they go. just take five off um, of that, and you've got your collar. But yeah, we'll have to do that manually. Yeah, we'll have to manually do that. So just keep that in mind because I will forget. <laughs> That's awesome, though. We're going to take it where we can get it right. Oh, yeah. I'm like That's talking about 50% yeah, chance. Yeah, he goes up there and fights all the time. Yeah, he's in the thick of it all the time. Hey, did we level up? Did we level him up last time? We did uh, not. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. We need to give him some more hit yeah. points. Um, yeah, he has yeah. 22 right what, now. What was the hit die for that? Do you remember? I want to say you said half or something of... Let me look again. What the? Added half. Yeah, it's, it's half, and I gotta look up what. Uh, where did I find wolves? Um, um, that was in the player's handbook. I'm 99% sure, or monster manual. Sorry. Where did I find wolves at? I got it. Sturges. It's, so armor class is 13, hit points 11, 2d8 plus 2. So 1d4 plus 1. 1d4. Mm-hmm. So give him another 3 hit points. Wait, you didn't add the 1, so give him 4 hit points. 4 hit points. Can you do that, or do I need to do that for for him? Uh, 26. Nope, it worked. Okay, perfect. So we've got Yo, him leveled up as well. I got 52 health, y'all. Yeah, level Whoa. four level four and five <laughs> nice. is when you start to get significantly beefy. Um, Jeez, yo. Which is good, because you're going to need it. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially me, right? Because we all know. <laughs> no? Okay. There's fine. some shit coming up. I have a feeling. Three green dragons. Yeah. <laughs> we think we have enough uh, fly away potions for that, right? Yeah, I think. All right. So as a reminder, um, Gundren Rock Seeker has offered you ten percent of the mine's wealth once his operation is up and running. Uh, mm. You have. You have a map. You have been. You have all the information you need to get to Wave Echo. Um, you're still dealing with the fact that there's someone called the Black Spider who's been orchestrating things from behind the scenes. He's the one who orchestrated the capture of Gundren Rock Seeker. Um, Gundren is still wondering where his two brothers are. Mm. Um, you now know the location of Wave Echo Cave. The only thing left for you to do is to delve the old dwarven uh, binds and discover for yourselves who the black spider is and why yep. they are so interested in the lost mine of Fandelver. Anything else you want to do in town before we continue the Hang adventure? On, I'm, I'm still I'm still shopping, but okay. I'm, I'm I'm wrapping up. I'm just waiting for everybody yeah. else to be done. Oh. Yeah, whenever yeah. the dwarf's done oh. pedaling, I'm I'm down. I'm ready to roll. So how would you like me to put that about my wolf's collar? How does that work? Probably just his... need to put it like in their inventory as or as a note somewhere on their character sheet just so that we remind ourselves that, that he has that effect. So like leather collar. Yes, like spiked this collar. Fifty percent spike... chance upon successful on someone successfully attacking the wolf. When they do damage to him, there's a 50% chance that he will do damage to them. 1d6 of piercing. That is awesome. 1d6 piercing. Yeah. 
fifty percent is probably pretty high, but hell, what the hell? Why not? Like that's that's him like reacting and like jerking his head around, and being like, "You just mm. bit me. How about this, bitch?" Yeah. <laughs> Show you a chomp. So do they roll to save, kind of thing every time? Yeah, we'll just we'll just roll a fifty uh, percent. Um, we can either do we can either do um, probably do two d ten, or we can do you know. A D20 and say 50-50, you know. However we want to do it, well, we could sort that out when we get to there. Um, probably just make it simpler. We could just do a D6 and 1, 2, 3, yes, 4, 5, 6, no. That's probably the easiest way. Otherwise, it's percentile, which would just be two D10s. Like so. D4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be a, a 19%. And zero zero is a hundred. Y'all ready for this? By the way, those of you who tuned into this instead of the Super Bowl, you guys rock. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say it's so on today. I didn't want to say anything here, but yeah. I haven't I haven't been paying attention, but I I, I my Twitter feed was. Like... We watched. Go ahead. We watched the halftime show. Yeah, I have thoughts on the Ring of Power trailer, which I will be talking about in a video coming up this week. Oh, boy. Was that the halftime show? Be a lot of talk about that, man. This week. It did air. I think it aired during the halftime show. Or oh, wow. Or it aired tonight. I don't know if it was part of the halftime show, but I know it showed up on my Facebook feed during mm. the Super Bowl, so I'm assuming it was... The teaser trailer for oh, that, man. but also I watched the trailer for the new Doctor Strange movie, and it looks good. Ooh. Yeah, I really like the Doctor Strange. We movie. saw it at the end of the Spider-Man movie, and it looked oh, good. cool. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't watched the new Spider-Man yet. It was good. I, I took all the kids. Took all the kids. It was awesome. Oh, nice. oh that's cool. Yeah, it was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm waiting to watch it. I'm stoked. A Spider-Man fan, so. Uh, my oldest is too. Oh yeah, so good. <laughs> I learned how to draw as a kid with Spider-Man comics. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Our oldest daughter is getting really good, and she's doing the digital drawing. Nice. Gosh. Awesome. Chris wants a. Um, we've we've been discussing this. She's getting her art studio after we move, so that she can have a nice. painting place because you like nice. to paint like watercolors or yes different kinds? yeah watercolors nice. acrylic okay. what's your That's favorite acrylic. do you care do you prefer watercolor or acrylic buff on um, buff yeah yeah digital was something that was kind of hey if you're going to do this with us we got to get a tablet because we need digital stuff so that was yeah. a learning curve this past summer mm-hmm but then I was like, yeah, you can paint. And we just take a photo of it and import it as a PNG. And we're good. And she's like, oh, well, yeah. I would much rather paint. <laughs> it's like, well, you, can do <laughs> that. you can do all of them. Because I can't draw for shit. So are you done, Mr. Rogue? Oh, yeah, I'm done. All right. Look at him. Look, <laughs> he's just like, whenever y'all are ready, let's go. Yeah. Walking with all that bling now. <laughs> he's over there like, he's like... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, look at him. Just waiting on y'all. Kicked up against the wall somewhere with his feet kicked out, flipping a coin, waiting on us. All right, everybody needs to close Not any my of, coin, though. Of course. <laughs> close any of your it. existing maps. Okay. And I'm gonna get this shared to everybody. And that should be black when it shows up on your screen yep. all back all right. go ahead and maximize that chris well you got to get rid of the fandolin map first so move your character sheet close the fandolin map yeah. yep okay there you go now it's black because i haven't added anybody to the screen yet okay so, 15 miles of east of Phandalin, in the deep vales of the Sword Mountains, lies Wave Echo Cave. Now, 
you've heard a little bit about this place. Um, once upon a time, the dwarves were here, um, and Gundren and his brothers are wanting to reopen the mines. Um, you've been dealing with this black spider character who seems to be obsessed with the dwarves and the mines as well. What he wants with the mines, you have yet to uncover. Um, you're about to um, undertake. This is this is this would be where in in, in a RPG game you would get a big warning on the screen that says you're about to enter the final phase of the game. <laughs> Do you have any side quests that you wish to complete before you go in? Uh-huh. Um, this is the final, uh, the big finale of this campaign. Um, so this is uh, your fourth level. Um, so we're about to see how you fare against the denizens of Wave Echo Cave. So let's go ahead and get these. I gotta get this part up for everybody. All right, get the combat tracker up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be dragging people on the map here, okay? Oh, wow, that's so teeny now. <laughs> that must be oh, a big area. Um, okay, that's... Uh, can you even see us, anybody? Can you? Yeah. I'm scrolling. Work. Scrolling, oh, scrolling. all the way down there, itty bitty little specs. Got it. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, um, this is going to be. Um... You can scroll with the wheel. Oh, boy. And then if you hold the wheel, you can move it. Mm-hmm. Let me Jeez, make sure. Man. All right. Let me make sure Chris fantastic. has got it sorted. Yes. Here, so if you hold that middle mouse button, la rueda, see, si empujas. Uh-huh. Aha, I see us. Para extender. Yep. This is funny. I've actually never looked at her screen before while we've been playing, and the map looks so different. That's so yes. cool with line of sight and everything. All right. No, I don't need to get sidetracked here. Okay. Um, so you have entered into... Um, you followed the map that Gundren gave you, um, and you eventually made your way to a narrow tunnel whose entrance was hidden within the Sword Mountain foothills. This is where you have come to this point. You are at the entrance to the cave here. And what was the deal we made with Gundren? 10%. Remind me. To do what? You're going to clear the cave so that he can reopen the mines. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's going to give you 10% once it's up and operational. So, Ijildor, buddy. Yeah. Buddy, old I- pal. Buddy, old pal, like you ready to take point? <laughs> yeah. Time to get your uh, creep on, man. Stealth up, buddy. Just, Let's right, go. Good job right, for me. Right. Be, I'll be somewhat behind just you. Just follow me. Yeah. Not a good time to lose our warrior. <laughs> okay. I'm here with a sacred okay. flame. <laughs> Fins. And All right. Also, yeah. Oh, I totally oh. drove. I drug Sorensen on the map, and he's not here, so I need to remove him off the map. So. Or you know. can play Sorensen. <laughs> Um, yeah, why don't, you, why don't you play Sorensen yeah. and break his crowbar, huh? What? Yeah. All right, tell you, I tell you what, I will, I, I will go ahead and, and instead of him remaining back the, the, the cavern, you made a good point. You convinced me, um, <laughs> Nathan. I will, I promise not to kill your character. I, I may give him some <laughs> double pink eye or something, but oh no, <laughs> oh man, lesson learned. Never miss a D and D. That's Dang. right. Come back with pink eye. Jeez. Or broken crowbars. Or, I mean, yeah, that was the DM's fault too. The first time. <laughs> I'm sneaking ahead here. All right, All I'm right. gonna chill out here, homie. So you're sneaking. Let oh me man. Drop this in. Sneaking. The entrance tunnel leads into a large cavern supported by a natural pillar of rock and containing three stalagmites. In the western part of the cave, behind a column of rock, are three bedrolls and a heap of ordinary supplies. Sacks of flour, bags of salt, casks of salted meat, lanterns, flasks of lamp oil, pickaxes, shovels, and other gear. Amidst the supplies, you see the body of a dwarf miner who has been dead for at least a week. The oh. northeastern section of the cave, cave has collapsed, forming a 10-foot wide, 20-foot deep pit. A sturdy hemp rope is tied off around a nearby stalagmite and dangles down the side of the pit, 
at the bottom of which is a rough-hewn tunnel leading northwest and east. So you'll have a couple of options at the bottom there. Mm. Is there a way to get down without having to climb? Well, there's a rope. You could fall. Right, but I have a wolf. <laughs> no, there's no other way down other than than mm. climbing. It's it's. Backflips are not recommended down. Not at the moment. Yeah. No backflips are recommended. So yeah, the options are rope or fall. Uh, instead of the collar, we should have bought a Bjorn for a wolf. Bjorn. <laughs> um. I guess we have other rope. We could like yeah. post, and move post up. Them. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Move it up. He hasn't. He hasn't caught wind of anything. He would have hollered back at me, a. Eh? So yeah, I don't see anything. No. Yeah. So yeah. Wait. So, you, there's all I see is uh, options is to go down, guys. I don't know. Did you move up, Chris? Mm, yeah. So northeast, which would be off to our right on the map. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's the so. Mm. That's the. The cave in section, and then you've got the the supplies and the dead dwarf. Go that's what that's elements. all you see here. You want to go up and inspect, see if we can loot up any extra supplies before we go any yeah. deeper? Yeah, go look at this. Yeah. Uh, where was that? It's right up ahead Western of us, right? Part. Western part, isn't it? Up over here somewhere. Yeah, so you're gonna go over there and search. Yeah, just that's fine. Oh, um, okay. uh, so. Let's... My wolfie disappeared. He did, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh. Let me drag him back on to the map for some reason. I don't know why he disappeared. Shadows in the shadows. Hit. But I'm tis. Hit that a T. <laughs> Can you roll a perception real quick, um, Bounty? Um, okay. Um, Idridor, you're inspecting, um, you find a bunch of the stuff that, uh, is, that was mentioned. Um, the dwarf, it's pretty ripe as you get close, um, inspect oh, yes. the body. Um, no weapons that you can see, um, but there are a pair of boots that, uh, are unnaturally unworn. They don't have the normal wear and tear that leather would traditionally have, and unlike the rest of his gear, which looks very worn out and and used, um, these boots look brand oh, new almost. I'm I'm definitely taking a closer look at these uh, boots here. So somebody's uh, somebody else just disappeared off the map. Is that Sparrow? That was me. Yeah. It's just, there's a weird thing going on apparently with the uh, with some of the map stuff. So we'll have to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. Um, Aliens. you're unsure of what's up with these boots. Uh, I'm they, taking the boots. Are they Nikes? <laughs> <Or> are they, <laughs> are they, Nikes? <laughs> they have Nikes in the. <laughs> I have a little bit of Arcana. Why okay, don't... okay, let's see. Let's see. Do I have enough perception to understand that there's something up about these boots? Because I mean, like. I do. But you I don't do. Know if my character um, does. Yeah. Well, I was rolling earlier to see if if Bounty Code felt the presence of anything, and he didn't. Um, you definitely have enough perception to know that something's weird about these boots. So, yeah. Let's okay, do I'm some arc up let's up. do some Arcana rolls and see. Mm. Jeez. That's that's not enough. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that was almost a uh, Yeah, the dwarf, the dwarf, the dwarf, <laughs> the dwarf has seen these before in a shop that he coveted, but he didn't have enough <laughs> coin. And he wasn't, he wasn't good enough to to get them at the time. Um, so, but he just got these. Oh, maybe they'll make him lie on his feet. That'd be cool, huh? More silencio, maybe. Those boots are cool. Boots of strength. Well, these boots, your walking speed becomes thirty feet unless your walking hey, speed is higher. They're J boots. 
Ooh, that could be good while you're stealthing around, right? Also in addition, you. you can jump three times the normal <gasps> distance. So you can't oh. jump further than your remaining movement would allow. That's really cool. So I'm equipping that crap. <laughs> Oh, nice. you bet. Those are those are cool. Sorry, guys. I just took the boots. Oh, uh, definitely good for you. Makes sense. Um, as you're yeah. inspecting Maybe. the body, um, uh -oh. you see a symbol soon into the chest. Um, this is one of Gundren's brothers. Oh, it has no. his family crest on the on the shirt. Time out. Time out. Did anybody else notice this, or just me? Since I'm the one inspecting. Just you. That you're the one inspecting. Okay. This this is good. Um, uh, which. Do, do I know which no, one it is? No, you don't know which no. one it is. You just know it's one of the dwarves. Mm. There were two. Yeah, there was two. Uh, I know their names, too, because I just looked it up. Nundro and Tharden. Well, I roll it. Roll it. Um, roll it. Um, investigation. Or is it, oh, there it is. Duh. Yeah, um, you find um, some notes in one of the bags. Uh, this is Tharden. Uh, oh, man. So. Tharden. Okay, cool. I'm just going to keep that information to myself and go back to the party and show my new boots. <laughs> Look what happened. I had a feeling, had a feeling he was going to do that. That's why he was like, wait, am I the only one that knows this? All right. <laughs> you find out anything interesting, Idjalor? Man, check Spiffy. out these boots. Found some new kicks. Where those come from? Spiffy there's looking. Like there's, there's this dead mining dwarf up there. I don't know. These look pretty cool. So, you got a... really is there? Is there anything yeah. unique about that dead mining dwarf? Yeah, he's got a spring in his stuff. Looks like anybody uh, we might have been. He's he's pretty dang stinky. I'm I'm gonna say you should just avoid that. I mean, it was pretty ripe. It was all I could do to get these boots off. Well, I definitely don't want to breathe those particles in. So I guess I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's bad. Oof. Yeah. But so I don't know what killed them though, so we best be on a be on the lookout. So we should go east. Well, there's only one way out of here, which go. is down into the pit. There's a oh, rope. Okay. There's a rope attached to a stalagmite that appears to be the only way down. Okay. Hey, Joel Lord, man, you wanna you wanna do some of them awesome backflips, ninja skills of yours? Is a rope you wanna go? You you take a point, yeah. man. I trust you. I'll sit. I'll definitely go down first just to okay. scope cool. out the... I'll be right behind you, man. Yeah, yeah. He's going to push me. <laughs> <laughs> just, why, are you, why are you moving so fast, huh? <laughs> it's a it's a DC of five to use the rope. All right, cool. Oh, five what? Just uh, do like a dex roll. Dexterity. Actually, it's strength, sorry. Yeah. Strength. Right. Shoot. And we got to use some rope to get Wolfie down. Poor so, Edredor, can you go down into the pit? I think I opened it. Uh, Where is it? Like, no. North I don't of you. see it yet. Yeah, yeah north go north. Me? Go north. That's the pit in front of you. Okay. Well, I don't, that. That. That I don't like... see like a door or anything. So, Well, try to move your character down into the pit and see what it tells you. Okay. So that's where you're at. You made it down. DC of five because there is a rope. Okay. Does it roll for you? I had him roll and he made it 21. Oh, gotcha. So do strength check. So Isildur is down. Who's going next? And there's also the... Um, the way after oh, wolf. good lord. <laughs> All right, so oh bounty code is gonna f he's gonna slip off the rope, oh. and he's gonna take one d six per twenty feet per ten feet. So there's it's oh no, twenty feet. Homie. I hope your rolls get better as we go further into this cave, bro. Oh, um, so you're gonna gosh. take eight points of damage, oh. bounty. Oh, bounty. I'll use a healing kit. <laughs> When I get down there. All right, yeah. so Bounty, you're down at the bottom of the pit now. Watch that last step; it's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I mean, I can. I'll go down next. Okay, roll a d20 for your strength check. Sorry. Yeah, you're down. That's how you do it. It's one of my right. best attributes, bro. You know. Yeah. 
So are we using a rope to lower Shadow Bay? Uh, do, you ha do you have other ropes in your inventories? Do you have a harness yeah. for them? All right. So it's going to take two people. So let's have Sorensen help. Um, oh, nice. So Sorensen and Sparrow. Um, let's make this a DC of five as well. So let's both of us roll. I need to open up his character real quick. And do a strength check. I did a, a... a roll earlier for strength. Do you want me to do it again? Nope. You're good. Okay. That was a nine. Oh, yeah. All the way down. Oh, nice. No problem. Okay. And then I guess I need a check for myself to get down. Yep. You're good. Sorensen's also down, so we're just waiting on Chris. Yeah. Okay. Just need to roll a strength check. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah. I I think. <laughs> no. Yeah. Also a good roll. So you're all down in the bottom of this pit. There is an entrance to the northwest and an interest and an in blah, 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 entrance to the north. Well, a ca cavern to the northeast, northwest and east. I can't talk tonight. You can either go east or northwest. Those are your two all options. Right. Can I heal? Uh... Uh, bounty code. How does the healing kit work? One D six plus four. Okay. So I just do the D six and add four. Well, you could just that? yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, max oh, roll. What? Wow. So, Heck job. yeah. That's how you do it, Sparrow. Yeah. All right, which way are you heading? When in doubt, go right? Oh, no. Yeah. Let's go east, yeah, I guess. Go, yeah, let's go east. Yeah. Can I do it? I'm going to quick uh, Divine Sense. Can I do that real quick? Because I got a few of this whole time. Sure. And I'd rather, I kind of want to do one right now. Sure. Don't actually roll anything. You just kind of tell me, right? Mm-hmm. You don't sense anything. Okay. Being safe. I'll do it a couple more times throughout our journey here. So we're going to go east. Yep. Yeah. So Ijador can I don't really know character. where I can go. I don't either. Yeah. I'm just kind of because I, I can't see. Yeah. It's all dark. I can't really see. Can you go beyond that? Because I just see this like. That's all I see of... is a wall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I seeing don't see anything either. Yeah. I don't see anywhere else I can go or any other areas like tunnels or any of that to go. Give me a second. I may have to sure. manually move your characters real quick. Okay. So give me two seconds here. <clears throat> is your door, you're looking a little sus, man. Is there, are you sure there's nothing else you wanted to tell us about earlier? <laughs> so I'm getting ready your tokens real quick just because I don't know how to drag them. So just give me two seconds here. You have, that, you have that look about you, you know, like when you're not really being completely honest, you what? know? Oh, what wow. Look? <laughs> what look? What? I doubt he feels <laughs> guilty at all. <laughs> Never. Okay, I was just checking, man. I trust you, you know? I trust you. Hey, I've gotten us out of a lot of sticky situations. You should trust me. Uh, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, He's also no. gotten us into sticky situations. I was gonna say, oh, come on. Did I just say come what on. you got us into? Or... Uh... All right. So as you <clears throat> as you come out of this cavern, um, this is what you see, Idridor. Oh, yay! More caverns. Oh, let's see. We, we can go further east or we can go north, guys. Where do you mm. think we should go? Mm. We haven't we haven't seen any. Bad Nothing. guys, yes. Yeah. Well, keep going east. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of good on right. keeping a wall to our side if we can. That we aren't like going into anything with a bunch of open area around us where we could get jumped or anything, you know. Well, they both look kind of hallway-ish. All right. Yeah. As it, as you get into this area, Edador, um, many tunnels intersect at this natural 30-foot high cavern. The walls are carved with simple reliefs showing dwarf and no miners hard at work. Below them, nearly two dozen skeletons in rusted scraps of armor are scattered across the cavern floor. Some are dwarf skeletons, while others are orc remains. Half a dozen large brass lanterns stand in niches or on ledges around the cavern, but none 
are lit. Oh, man. Now we're getting somewhere. So everybody's moving up to Edador. If we were to light them, would we have more visibility? Sure. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't know how to add light sources to the oh, map. Okay, so. got it, got it. Thought I'd ask for science, you know. I lost bounty off the map. There's definitely some weirdness going on with this map. So. I think you lost me too. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally you did. did. So. I see like a glowy green light off in the distance. Can anybody else see that? Do you? Nope. I oh, wait, I do. Anything. I do see something. What is that? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Far, far down that tunnel, that yeah. pathway right there, there's something green. Green going light means good, right? Green means go? Sure, yeah, I'll it. go with that. <laughs> Digital right. lore on you. I'm just yeah. <clears throat> As you are going through the cave, um, I need everybody to roll wisdom checks, uh -oh. your perception oh, checks. Oh, snap. Well, okay. Good. Perception or wisdom? Perception. Wisdom it's a, perception's oh, a wisdom okay, okay. check, so roll a perception it, it. check. Gotcha. Ooh, I'm like averagely perceptive. Oh my god. Oh, oh, sparrow, oh not... snap, what's up? Let's get She's that trying to look around way. and she takes six points of damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stabs herself in the eye. Ooh. Oh, I need to roll oh, for uh, uh, Let's see here. I can't believe I just rolled a 21 on that, perception. though, for... Yeah, nice. Snaps. I smell with the 22 as well. I know. All right. So as you are going through the cave, mm -hmm. you hear flapping noises from above you. Um, oh, damn it. Damn oh, boy. Better not be Sturges. Ugh. Oh, guess what? It's probably. It's probably. Oh. Just, they're probably Nats. just canaries. Oh, gosh. Those Perception so didn't do gross. us any good, did it? Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry. All right, so um, they're <laughs> yeah, not gonna, they're not gonna get the drop on you because <laughs> Simurg and okay. Prisma heard the okay. flapping as as they <laughs> as they swo swooped down from the ceiling. I need everybody to roll initiative. Got it. Disgusting. I blame whoever that was in chat that said that earlier. Oh. Haley, I think. Believable. <laughs> We're in a good, clean campaign. Oh, messed up my roll, too. Did you see that? Oh, wait, did it not go through? It did not go through. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I got a second opportunity here. We're going to do initiative, right? Okay, cool. Yep. Well, it's still as crappy as it was in Mango, so that's fine. All right. Bounty code, <laughs> you're up first. I just wanted to let you know the feet I picked up. Um, level four, I picked um, alert, and it one of the abilities it gives me in it is um, you can't be surprised while you are conscious, and other creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you as a result of being unseen by you. So I'm, I can't be uh, surprised. Nice. I'll need to read that, but to fully understand it, I understood some of what you just said, so I need to look that up. What's it called? It's uh, alert. If you look under feet. Yep. There's... Always on the lookout for danger. You gain the following benefits plus five. So you can add, you can add, well, you're already at the top of the list. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you can't be surprised while you are conscious. Other creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you as a result of being unseen by you. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. You're up. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, how many are there? There's a few. Yeah, it's like like a Ten. bunch of gnats, bro, you know? Look at that nasty. Can, they're going to get their nasty skin on us. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. Oh. happening i was oh. really quiet for me i was like what's happening i was like is my stuff not where you is are we oh, am i supposed to be yeah. attacking i'm sorry yeah, yeah it's, your, it's your turn it's you're your up. turn yeah you're running point homie i'm literally second uh, to last um i guess i'll just fling out a magic missile on three of them nice <clears throat> 
<clears throat> a good Sturgis is a dead Sturgis. Probably the ones right on us. Disgusting. Look at those things. I know. Man. Creepy. I think they're my least favorite mob. Even though the owl bear uh, was really tough, these things are. They're just gross. Creepy. Yeah. They're Especially like... after they latch onto you, it's like mm -hmm. giant mosquitoes that just start mm -hmm. sucking your blood. Except, sure. yeah, no fur hair, nothing. They're just like flappy skin things with beaks. It's gross. Okay. What horror movies are made of. Chris Mill, you're up next. Okay. Dave Sturges. Ugh. Okay. I want to get. I, what? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Did we... A... we lost. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. I just saw that. She shot up. Okay. Oh. I... It's okay. So I'm going to. <laughs> go ahead and zoom in, Chris. You can see better. There yeah. you go. I'm going to choose this to. Number nine, okay, yeah, and I'm going to sh shoot here. Make sure you, before you do, Chris, you forgot to uncheck all of your arrows, so you have a full arrows. Okay. You need to do all of those really quick. No, 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 no. Yep, it's in reverse. Clear, clear the circles. Yep. Quita las flechas de todos. Okay. Gracias. Yeah. Also, as a reminder, Spare, if you didn't already do so, make sure you mm -hmm. give yourself full arrows. Yep. Chris had forgotten, so. All right. Go for I'm it, Chris. To... Okay. <clears throat> That's nice. a hit. Whoa. Okay. What's up? Bust them up. Okay. By the way, something I forgot about. All of you have dark vision except for the two humans, right? I do. Yeah. Right. I do, yeah. So we need to pay attention that the two humans need to be having torches um, oh. to be able to see. Oh. Because All right. You're in the dark, so we'll just keep that in mind. Neither one of you use shields, right? Um, I do. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a pallet. He's got, he's got a shield. Maybe we'll just say that Sorensen has a torch and... That should be enough for these cool. types of encounters for now. I was say, Sim I mean, always Sorenson. follows me anyway, so... Okay. I mean, it's true. I'm pretty much always at his back. It's a door. You're up. Hashtag trust. I'm, I'm still <laughs> stealth, yes or no? Yes, you are still stealth. Uh, okay. All right. Well, then we're going to go for Sturge 3. Pop out of the shadows. Yeah, we don't want to use that just <laughs> Oh, you forgot advantage to do again. Roll another. I, I did. I did forget advantage. That sucks. There we okay. go. Ooh. Oh, he's already dead. I don't need to even roll my extra. Um, okay, and then attempt to fifteen. Sell. You need a fifteen or better because they are swooping down, incoming at your party. They um, see in the dark, etc. That's fair. Nice. Yeah, Fades man. Fades back right. in the darkness. Sparrow, you're up. Okie dokie. I'm going to cast on Shadow Bane. Bark skin. That's it. Yes. Go. As you do, um, Sorensen gives a twitch. Um, and feels a ripple of energy coming up through his new axe. Um, oh. It's reacting to the wood, the bark. Oh. He suddenly feels a little nauseous and a uh -oh. little, little creeped out. Oh wow! You gonna get him, get him all grossed up this early, huh, Dion? Good thing I didn't cast it on him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Shadowbane, you're up. Wow, okay. that's Bane. interesting. Yeah, forgot about that with his new axe, man. That's cool. 
you know what? I can't shadow bane can't see. Well, I mean, hmm, I don't know like, how. Like I can't target anything while I'm on it. I wonder how oh, I, I can go to the combat one there. Layout for bounty code. Oh, redemption in chat from uh, Alfina. Okay. Oh, nice. Item to a player oh, lamp for bounty code. Perfect. Heck yeah. GG Alfina. Good looking out, homie. Thank you. Okay, that's a hit. Dead flapper. Yeah. All right. Their turn. Ooh, yes. They're about to get into action soon. This is so gross part. So, Sturge 10, they're all going to swoop in. That's a miss. What happens here? It's going to swoop past and not have any detrimental effects. That's a hit. Okay, and then we're going to do anything above 50. He's going to take damage. Nope. Sorry. Nice. Um, that's 7 and a 4. That's 74%. So he does take damage. Going to take an additional 1 to 6. So it takes 5 points of damage from the spike necklace collar. <clears throat> it's not a necklace. It's a collar. Sorry. That's a hit. Oh. That does not take any additional damage. That's a hit. Okay, and then also does not take any additional damage. Simmer, you're up. I'm gonna run up. Next, all right, kind of next to Shadow Bane, and then Surge Sturge Six here. Okay, and good old swipe with Talon. It's a hit. That's a or the well dead. Also, that one was dead too. I forgot they. I was reading the wrong thing. But the other one, the one that spiked itself nice. on his collar, that one died as well. Perfection. Sorensen is up. He's going to move up and attack this one. And he now has the axe. Hugh. Thwap. Mash. It. Hey. All right. Nice. Bounty code. We gotta heal up Shadow Bane, huh? Jeez. Mm -hmm. I can use a kit though, so I don't have to use up my spells. Perfect. <clears throat> Just gonna try uh, Firebolt. Okay. It's a hit. hit it's dead. Uh, and, he's, and they only have two hit points. <laughs> it's, nice. it's, it's a I dead a Sturge. <laughs> I, um, you have cleared the Sturges from the room and managed to avoid a nasty encounter. All right, you're going to use a healing kit. How many more of those yes. do you have, or how many charges are left? I, from today, have, let's see. So this will be eight if I use another one. You'll have eight left? Yep. Okay. Nice. So do we want to head towards the glowy light that we see? Yeah, green is for go. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak <laughs> oh. on looking for traps. Right. Anything so under the order ordinary. What did I say it was? One d six plus um, two or one d six plus four? I don't remember. Leave it up behind digital door. We'll have to look it up. One d six plus four. Okay. Oh, so five. Oh. Yeah. Follow Nigel Door. I'm going to stop up here around the uh, cave tunnel. Let's see what this is. Pause there till they catch up to us. Um, 
I put the lamp in my inventory and I equipped it, but I don't know if it'll affect anything on the map it's for not. anyone. I, the problem is I don't know how to do light sources for individuals, and mm. it, I haven't Googled it um, because we're in the middle of a campaign right now. That's yeah. I just That'd be pretty it. cool. Yeah, because I actually found it in the adventuring gear thing. I mm. dragged it into my inventory and I equipped it. So I don't know. Oh, nice. Better than a torch, huh? Yeah. yeah. There may be a way to add it to a token. So give me two seconds here. Add a yeah, light source sick. to a token. Man, this is a lot of reading. So unfortunately, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, do I don't later. really have a yeah, quick and easy uh, way to do that. Fine. I was just wondering if something automatically would kick in. Well, I, there apparently are some settings that I can do, but I'm not familiar enough with those settings to know how to make that work. And we haven't done enough exploration yet to see that. Yeah. Eldador, um, you're in this cavern. You can see inside. Dense carpets of weird fungi cover large sections of the floor in this cavern. The growth includes puffballs that are a foot across, weird shelf fungus growing on stalagmites, and large stalks and caps that are a good five feet tall. Some of the puffballs grow with an eerie green phosphorescence. Mm. Would I know from my... What is that? Uh, medicinal stuff or herbalism... Or nature, maybe even. Yeah. 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 Roll a too. nature roll. Nature. I'll we'll put a DC of twenty on it. Twenty. <laughs> you got this, Sparrow. Big, roll big roll. On. Big money. And you never know. Oh. oh what's oh. up, homie? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> what is up? That is sick. Wow. Um, you recognize these as poisonous fungi that will release a large blasts of poisonous gas there's probably no way that you're going to be able to get through that cavern okay go change your mind. Door. don't go in there yeah. get out Back go, uh, the other wow way. yeah it's nice probably call. gonna get you killed homie oh. she sensed the yeah. bad in there so let's maybe go the other way yeah, yeah let's i guess yeah. let's go south yeah or north no. um it's a good question what do y'all think there's a there was another tunnel back there that went north, right? We we didn't go that yeah. way, so maybe we can go south. You've got north yeah, or south to choose from. North. So north if we south. come back, we have two northern directions we can go that way, right? So we can right. make clear south and yeah, we got blocked on the east. So hit south, check it out. Sounds good. Right. Okay. Sneak. After you, Angel Door. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking down here. Check for traps. All right. Yeah. You should be able yeah. to see that. Yep. Okay. And relay back what you see to the group. Uh, rather than shouting, I'll go back. Uh, so there's two more doors down here, one that leads to each side off of the tunnel, and it appears that uh, maybe at one time it went further south, but it's all broken or rumbled something. in at the, moment, at the moment, yeah. Collapsed or something, okay. Yeah. yeah. Blocked. Yeah. I can see, sort of see rubble down there from here, but I see those two little... Yep. There's two closed doors. doors that go to either side. Well, friends. I want to... Oh, no, hang on a second. Go ahead. Big We're here. Can you hear anything, Andrew Door? If you go up to the yeah. doors, is there any sounds? or? Well, here, I'll go mm. check it out. All right. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to, to look for... To listen for sounds. <laughs> Which door are you listening at? Uh... Let's go east, I guess. This door. You hear nothing at the door. Down. Okay. I go check the other door then. Same thing. It's a old cavernous. Um, all of you do feel all of a sudden. You've been in here for a little bit now. Um, you. Let's. Oh, I lost it. Um. The floor vibrates beneath your feet, and you can hear like the distant crashing of like waves against. Sounds like waves crashing against a cliff or something, and the whole cavern kind of shakes beneath your feet. Oh wow! Could be the wave echo. Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Ah, I just remembered that I have this book, this journal entry that tells me about this uh, magic mace named Lightbringer. So can I do an inspection to like see if I can notice any clues that might lead to any more understanding of the location of this since we're in this cave now? Yeah, you've already read the book. I mean, it just it mentions it, but it doesn't mention any specific location or anything like that. No, but that's what I'm saying. Could, I, I want to. I'm looking for clues now. Okay, that you're gonna here. have to refresh my memory because I don't remember what the Lightbringer was, and now you're you're bringing up something from like four sessions ago. I gotta. Um, here, just was just that read the... the dwarvish tome in my in my inventory. Oh, yeah, give me a second. <clears throat> Entral door inventory. It literally just says the mace was lost when wake of a wake of a wake wave echo cave, and its mind vanished from history. So like. It could be anywhere in this cave. That's yeah, there, there's no mention in the book of where it could be. Um, just, no, that's why I'm, I'm looking for it. Yeah, yeah, you can actively look for it, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to actively look for it. <laughs> okay. Everywhere we go. <laughs> you want to try that door? Yeah, try the door. Well, check for traps. Yeah, traps and maybe give it your good old epic dwarven uh, lock picking skill that's always successful with no issues <laughs> you don't even have to roll let's check this let's check this door for traps yeah it's like flying it's perfection really i mean oh, oh. No, that, you there, don't probably you traps. don't find any traps all right uh, is it locked yeah <clears throat> uh, it does not appear to be locked mm. all right well, i'll just just open the door and peek inside then it should be open okay Behind you. Sneak on into this big open door room. I was like waving to everybody. I don't know if they saw me. If they were like, you okay. know. Splintered stone benches and heaps of rubble form a partially collapsed, from a partially collapsed ceiling. Fill this room. Amid ruined stone bunks and toppled weapon racks are the bones of several dwarves and orcs. It's definitely an empty room then, yeah. Anything. Did we come in? Or wait out here. Yeah, I was like waving at you, like, let's get to it, you know. Okay. He, he checked the doors, it's good. So basically, if something goes wrong, we, we're the ones he hit first. So, you know, you can just keep trailing behind unless we're like, oh my God, run. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm basically, gonna... nothing. There's anything worth inspecting wise. No. Oh, look, there. Hey, get <laughs> oh, boy. It. We got some oh, shit geez. to do. What the? So, oh. at least. As as everyone enters into the room, Hidgeldor, how did you see that? The dwarven, yeah. the dwarven and orc bone skeletons that you saw on the ground begin to stir and knit together, forming nine yeah. skeletons that Crazy. unfold into. Uh, Were the they air. hiding in a bag under a bed again? Hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. I'm not the paladin with divine sense or whatever, yo. Like, come on. I this mean, guy can literally sense undead, and he's blaming me. Like, I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> that's, Everybody... that's, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I mean, it's like, I, I'll, I'll think about using it again in about another 60 paces or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably a big credit, cave. <laughs> there was only nine of them, so you could miss them. <laughs> Go ahead and roll, <laughs> roll initiative, everybody. <laughs> Was that sarcasm? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe for for finding great evil, though. Maybe they just want to talk. All right. I mean, first, I up like is, the other door, you know. First up is bounty code. Bounty code with the initiative rolls. Wonder how. Crunchy these bones are. You think we can? They're brittle. I think they're brittle, but we can dust uh, them. Try fire. I'd like. Let's go. All right. So that's uh, skeleton three and firebolt. Nice. Okay, Chrisma. Okay. Okay. I want to move 
Yes, because okay. I um okay. But uh, I, I'm going to try to show the skeleton number three if I can. From... Yep, you can. You're through the door. You've got point of view. Okay, sorry. <laughs> She's saying Bro. sorry in advance. <laughs> 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 no, you're gonna okay. roll twenties all night. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shoot him with my ball. My ball. Okay, my ball. That that that, that one hovered there. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Simmerg. All right, I'm going to take a swipe at. Wait. Can't see my characters underneath. Um, yeah. Uh, Hang on. Let's just drag them. Oops, that's the wrong guy. Simmerg. Here. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to move up to this one right there and take a swing. Good old Talon. Oh. Never Talon mind. Says, no. Not basically. It's irrelevant. So Sarkson's next, it's going to move up and attack this one. I got a actions. That's a hit. I think the next big tunnel we get into, I'm going to use uh, my divine sense again because I'm Edgador. trying to save it. Yeah, no doubt. Um, this is a big uh, cavern and. Undead or a nice indicator, there might be something kind of, you know, bump in the night, worse than these guys. You're sneaking, so you have advantage. Yeah, I'm going to sneak up to this guy right here. And I'm at your door. That's the plan, man. Let's see what happens. Don't slip and fall. <laughs> on in here. I feel like that was maybe not so. <laughs> 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 Uh, DC of 10 to go back into. Hang sneak. on, I was rolling my. Oh, you have to do your sneak damage I... too. I forgot, sorry. Did it not roll it? It did now. There so it goes. That's another three. Okay. Yeah, okay. and DC of what? 10. 10? Oh, that's not bad. Come on. Big money. Oh, you gotta mm. be kidding me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, we gotta, we gotta oh no, flavorful dude. here. Um, so let's just see how badly you failed at that. Um, I don't know. You just slipped and okay. and fell past him, and and not, no, no, no side effects. Thank goodness. Shadow I was thinking I was gonna end up prone or something. <laughs> well, if you would, if I would have rolled a six, it would have happened. But you're good. Yeah. Oh. I can't quite see where I'm moving him, so I'm just trying to get to next to the skeleton that's next to Samurg there. It worked. All right. Oh, I got a hit first. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, which one was that on? That was four. Okay. Okay. Roll again. Okay. That's a hit. Ooh. Okay. So do you want me to roll the bite again? Yep. Okay. Nice. And then... I have to do a DC, right, to save versus. Oh yes, eleven. Prone. Was it? Yeah, and I don't have any bonuses, so. Yep, eleven. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, he yeah. broke his. All right, I'm gonna roll a D6 to see if he takes any extra damage because he fell so dramatically after he gets pounced on by. Um, he takes an additional two points of damage. Funny. Nice. So he gets pounced on by Shadow Bane, and he gets thrown to the floor so forcefully that it cracks his femur, and his leg goes rolling <laughs> off in the distance. All right. So he won't be able to get back up. Well, he can get up, but he's, he's half <laughs> movement. Well, no, no, with his femur, yeah, he'll have to attack from a prone position. All right, what do we got here? A skeleton. Nice. One. One. How far is that to move to him? Oops. Sitting out. We're gonna have him move. I'm just gonna move the skeletons real quick. Okay. And these guys will get up to here, but they won't get up close enough to do anything. The way they move, almost under some odd ominous power. 
<laughs> it's a skeleton one. Attack. It's a hit. Ooh. Okay. Skeleton two is this one. It's going to attack here. Okay. Ah! Skeleton four. Four is prone. Four is prone, so he's just gonna I'm gonna do one, two, three, it's against Sim, four, five, six, it's against so that's against Simurg. Yeah. Off me. He can't get up. So I'm but gonna isn't give him that... disadvantage. My... Isn't to... that that knockdown he misses a turn? No, he doesn't miss a turn. He can get up if he's prone. He just he has half movement when they're prone. But since he's down, I'm gonna give him the um, he's... disadvantage here. Is there any way if he's like trying to get up, I try to like crunch his little head back down so he doesn't? <laughs> Can I react? Skeleton you know, five possible. Like... That's against him. That's a miss. Skeleton six. Where is six? There he is. That's against you. Skeleton seven. That's a hit. Eight. All right, eight has no clue where you went because you hit him and ducked out. So he's going to get an attack of opportunity into the door because he's trying to move yeah. past you. Cool. Let's do it. It'll bring you out of stealth, so roll for advantage. Well, I'm not in, I'm not in stealth anyways cuz Oh, I that's failed. right. You failed your stealth. Where's my well, Hang on, hold that. Hold that thought. I thought you were stealth for my brain was farting. So hang on. He's just going to turn and whop you. Oh. Well, I forgot you <laughs> failed your stealth, so. So yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's palm of the dwarf, yeah. <laughs> Okay, nine. Where is nine? Nine's gonna move up here and attack Sorensen. It's a hit. Okay, Sparrow, you're up. All right. How are we doing for heals? I think everybody's all right for this round for heals, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody's. I can yeah, gash on my forehead, but you know what <laughs> ifs. It'll, all right, it'll be so all right. I'm gonna... Go after skeleton four, <laughs> who's prone. Roll advantage down. on your attack roll. Okay. Uh, like a. Just click the click... advantage on the bottom left. Yep. Before yeah. you. Okay, and then where's my actions? My bow. <sighs> it's a hit. Good thing our first roll was a yeah. one. Yeah. That is a dead skelly. Bounty code. Oh, man. I'm going to target number eight with the firebolt. That's a hit. That's a dead skelly. Nice. Well, they're not too yeah. bad. Crispa. Okay. I'm fiercely going to move here. Yeah. All right, we gotta go through the door and in. Yeah, okay. and then I'm going to shoot the skeleton number one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's so. getting out of the way so she doesn't accidentally shoot anybody. Ooh, a twenty. Yeah. Appreciate that. What was, what was that, Sparrow? Rolling twenties all night. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Keep Jeez. it up. 
Oh man, oh, nice. critical hit too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, Simmer, you're up. So I have a question, okay? Would it be possible in the um, the realm of imagination? These are like skeletons, right? They're light. I got some strength. Can I try to grab one and just throw it against those three in front of us and try to like literally bowling pin them over? Sure. I, but that's that's going to be your – so multiple It'll things. It'll be like my turn, yeah, right? Right, but here's the thing. Multiple okay. things okay, going cool. on here. So yes. you're in active combat with this guy. He just attacked you with a sword. Um, um, strength check. Okay. Difficulty of 20. You need a DC okay. of 20 because you're oh, trying to shit. bypass his attack, grab yes. him, Got and it. then hurl him. If you make the strength check, okay. <laughs> we'll see okay. what happens after that. Yeah. Oh let's, man. Let's, let's see if you make the strength check first. Did this for the D and D friends. Let's go. <laughs> this is for you're role let's, playing again. You know what try. happens. Oh no! Don't say that out loud, homie. <laughs> Just strength check. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn! I tried, y'all. No, he, the he, dream. Did he did not. Um, unfortunately. So what bad happens to me? Nothing bad. Nothing? You just you you instead of swinging your sword, you tried to reach out and grab him, and he kind of just tried. If you've ever seen Army of Darkness, you know his, yeah. his his neck just kind of his neck does this. It's like meat and goes to the side, and <laughs> the vertebrae was... separate around your fist. Nice. Sorry, y'all. Was trying to get creative here, and you okay. know. All right, Sorensen, skeleton nine. a hit man hugh is a badass axe damn dude all right edge door um we'll just go for this closest one here okay wow yep oh no to, oh did you want to like stealth that. yeah roll yeah. a dc of five because they're facing away from you cool Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. That's Shadow the role Bay. you need it. Ex extra stealthy. <laughs> I don't try to RP. Nothing fun ever happens for me, though, right? <laughs> oh. Saying. That is six. I just saw Haley's comment in, in <laughs> Twitch. Like some Sturgis right. for the Sturgis very first song. time. Sturgis for the very first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that after the fact. Yeah, I'm a little late, guys. I'm not always checking. Ah! That was almost a 20. Almost. <laughs> All right, we're just going to keep need to win two. doing. Skelly 1 is with a short sword. It's a hit. Skelly 2 is with a short bow. It's a miss. Skelly 5. It's also a short bow. That's a hit. Skelly six is a short sword. I'm going to give his disadvantage on the roll because he is a little... You, you just try to grab him by the throat, and so he's a little off balance, so he's got disadvantage oh, cool. on his roll. Bad things for Missed. you. Okay, this <laughs> is seven. It's a short bow. It's a miss. Skelly nine is a short sword. It's a miss. Sparrow, you're up. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna move here and attack this oh. guy with my shiny new mm. staff. Mm. Mm. Yeah, see if it does a plus two to the attack. Right. I'm. So I don't click advantage. Nope. You just it let should. It, attack? it should automatically do it because you're using that weapon to attack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it did a plus four. And you yeah, because you plus two. It's well, it's already it's including all of the pluses already in it. So. Okay. All right, bounty code, you're up. Okay, um, hmm. 
I guess the guy right in front of me, number one. Okay. Same deal, Firebolt. Oh, oh I saw 13. All right, so there's nobody in front of you, so... Thank God. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's roll a six here. Um, if I roll a six, um, it. it's, it's going to be Sorensen, but I have to roll a six. Oh, oh you got lucky. Oh, that was close. All right, no, no bad detrimental <sighs> side effects. Chris, when you're up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. To shoot the skeleton. One, the same. Okay. And sorry, Spavo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry in advance <laughs> hey since yeah. you said you're ducking if she rolls a one i'll give it to you <laughs> Whoa. look at that jeez look at those slipping rolls. a little the 20s are a little uh yeah. Yeah. like three in a row or something at Good least God. Right? Yeah. Jeez, was on roll tonight. Yeah. Our rangers you got some weedies this morning <laughs> i know man i'm gonna take a good old swing of talon right at this filthy Skeleton's neck. Okay, cool. Lop his head off. I hope so, man. Hit. Oh, nice. nice. I'm gl glad my nine could manage that. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a six. Okay. Sorensen. Yeah. Is Single digit champs. Going to just do it again. Nice. Nice. Dead Skelly. All right, it's the door. All right, I'm stealth so advantage. Have you moved up, by the way? Well, I attempted to. Try it again. There you go. All right, that's a hit. Uh, Which one are you on? Skeleton 7. Why is it green? Okay, and roll your stamina. Stealth, stamina. maybe? Because I had advantage. Oh, mm. advantage, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. a dead skelly. Beautiful. Dead skelly. Bye. And to get Aren't back to stealth. Dead. See you later. That's a disintegrated... Uh... Yeah, it just crumbled into... It didn't crumble, but it fell into a bunch of pieces. And you Man. failed your stealth roll. No, I did not. Oh, wait, it's and five. Nine. Sorry, it's five, not ten. Yeah. My bad. You're good. Yeah. Thanks for calling me out. Barely, on. though. But, like, <laughs> man, that's cutting it close. Oh, All right. Three. <laughs> Get a plus six. You're I'm automatic. sorry. That's why I saw the three, and I was like, it's a fail. But he has all the bonuses, so, yeah. All right, you're up, Shadowbane. Okay. Who's that? Six? Yep. Did it just move? I did. Oh, when I saw that. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the map is possessed. I know, right? I'm taking people off the map today. <laughs> there does right. appear to be some bugs with this map, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I keep trying to do damage before I hit. That is a hit. Ooh. That is a Bye. dead skelly. Bye. See you later. All right. This one. These are both bow attacks. <gasps> Dodge. <gasps> nice. All right. Lol. Sparrow. <laughs> Everybody still good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like some sturges. Mm. Sturges for the very <laughs> first time. Too many time. options. I foresee a potion drink in a short bit here. I guess just my bow. Target on five. A pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. Pew pew. pew, pew. pew, pew. Yeah. That's a hit. Nice. nice. That's right. Bounty code. All right. I will uh, skeleton five. <laughs> like a sturgeon. <laughs> Sturgeon. It's That's like all in my head now. <laughs> Did I say sturgeon? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big old fish. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I derailed my thought. What was I doing? I blame <laughs> everybody else here. Jeez, dude. Oh, there it is. There Crit. you go. Crit hit. Nice. Sweet. So do I do double damage? It'll it'll automatically do whatever it's supposed to do, which are the default rules. Yep. I mean, yeah. let's be real. I'm not getting another opportunity. Christmas is gonna like roll twenty, knock those heads off. We're done. That's You're right. Up. Start start walking the other way. I'm <laughs> no, I'm not another. No, uh, chill a little bit, you know. Some RP. Like, it's, uh, it's your turn. Just, this. It's the moonwalk. Okay. Wait. I'll duck again. You're gonna shoot through <laughs> Simurg. Hey, whoa! What you... yes. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Nothing Sorry. more than eighteen. That's okay. I'm probably gonna be okay. You <laughs> wanted another ear piercing anyway. <laughs> I, let them... I mean, not without my consent. I didn't. Consent. 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 There it is. Nineteen. Bam. Get it. Yeah, yeah right. to that stupid little undead eyeball. Oh, Here's never mind. Chris Damn it. Simmer. <laughs> Shield smash to the face. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Got it. Rah! Slash you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be a two. <laughs> no, can you imagine? It's a dead skelly. So you it's charge the skeleton sword in the air and slash it down across its chest, and it shatters into 50 different pieces. You have survived the skeleton attack. No one got shot by accidental arrows. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Search a room for loot. All right. Do we need healing kits? What, should, what are you um, thinking? I'm popping a potion real quick. So I do, to pop a potion, I do uh, 1d6 plus 2. Plus 2. Then I'll save the kit. Bounty, how are you? are pretty okay. Dang, you got that many All hit right. points. All right. You got Everybody three points right? back. Yep. You got no, three fine. back. Yeah, it was Dookie, but it's all right. Yeah. Does Sorensen have any potions? Show with that. That's fine. Inventory. I should have bought him a couple potions. Let's just say that he bought a couple yeah. potions on the way out along with everybody else. And he lost 100 gold because of that. Let's go and take some gold out. Like a sturgeon. Okay, so he's going to use a potion. 1d6 plus 2. That's 7. Okay. All right. There's there's no uh, treasure in this room. It's just the, no? the ruins of the old bones. Mm. Some stone well, bunks, yeah. toppled weapon racks, rusted remains of stuff. Nothing to loot. Mm. The door is not locked. Oh gosh! This is next, next. Are you going inside? Next, the door? Yeah, I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna sneak the other room. Inside. Okay. Uh, this chamber was once an office or storeroom of some kind. There's a large stone counter, stone counter that bisects the room, set with three dusty balance scales made of iron. Some cubby holes carved into the north wall. Uh, stuffed with dusty paper scraps and several long dead corpses. Norms and gnomes and orcs, by their looks, are sprawled across the floor. Like mm. sleeping or like dead? Corpses. Corpses. corpses oh. are long, yeah. long dead corpses. Oh, right. Uh, is there is there anything shiny in this room? Uh, roll for it. You do find behind the counter. There's a locked iron strong box. Ooh. I'm walking after in the you, room now. After you take a look at it, um, you're gonna need it. This is this is definitely locked down. You're gonna need thieves' tools and a successful DC of twenty to open this. True. This is a That's, tough lock. That Get is. It. You got uh, this, sigil door. You got this, man. I should. Yeah, I should have thieves' tools I for have. the gold. Pretty sure it's part I mean, of your I, kit, I, so just... I know it. I was going to say, I know it is. I was just checking. Yeah, you just it's, need it's, to it's, roll a DC of 20 or higher on your dex roll. Sli of sleight of hand? No, it's a dex roll. Well, that is dex. That it, says but it just four. says a dex check, so... Oh, uh, okay. 
Sleight of hand is for like pickpockets and stuff. Yeah, that's like pickpocket. So okay, so main page, dex roll. Or if you're trying to like steal money from a waitress. Hey, <laughs> hey, twenty or better, you said. Oh, yes, man. twenty or better. What happens if I don't roll a twenty? Can we take it with us? <laughs> it's an iron strong wax. It's pretty hefty. Um, oh no. my gosh! Did you really just slip it trying to pick you, that you lock? Broke, you you broke, do have a crowbar. You broke off a tool in the in the lock, no. and it's jammed now. You know. Oh what? Out. Is there any way I could try crowbar. to force this thing? Because I got some strength. Um, it's a great question. Um, Don't you have know? a plus one crowbar? Uh, I thought I thought I did. Well, you mean the one that you broke of mine? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oops. If you have a crowbar, um, Sorensen hey, might have a crowbar. Hold on. Does anybody have a crowbar? Because I can try to. Let me check Sorensen. Give him best. I might have a crowbar. I... He gave his crowbar to me. I have the crowbar. Oh, hey. The really only mean. crowbar of the party belongs to the thief. Hold on. I think something magical is about to happen here. Yeah. Give Sim a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thanks, so Tommy. over Thank overlooked you as you rummage around the paperwork uh, <laughs> next right. to the strand box, you happen to find a rusty old one yeah. single use. You're gonna get a single use out of this uh crowbar. Yes. Uh, you need a DC of a, a 20 <laughs> single use crowbar. <laughs> it's rusted. It's been here. It's rusted. <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Is it a rusty crowbar on the adventures inventory? I'm just kidding. It's okay. Fine, it's maybe. a rusty old crowbar. Uh, you need a strength check of 20 to open this okay. chest. Come on, Get the loots. Or the rogue's going to get it all. Oh. No, and uh, the crowbar bends underneath the pressure, and uh, search the room. Search the room. Yeah. No. You have to no. Throw that crowbar away. It was a one-time use. Oh, uh, the no, only dude. thing left are the there's paperwork in the cubby holes, and that's about it. And balance scales and stuff. How would I check to see if there's a magical lock on it? That seems really tough. Uh, probably just roll an arcana roll. Oh, interesting. Oh, you look, sense we're... nothing. Bounty. We're... <laughs> we're all doing so good today. We should have really have charisma doing this, honestly. Like, I guess. I mean, I can always throw it in my my bag. I got plenty. I can. I've got a good weight limit if need be. So it's all good. Try Arcana. It does not appear oh. to be a magical lock. It's a mundane. Oh, it it's just a bad. really well-built dwarvish lock, hmm. which now has a broken off lock pick in it and is oh. jammed. <laughs> Dang. I mean, do you want to toss yeah. your inventory, man? He said we couldn't. No, but... it's it's a pretty no? big chest. I mean, there's really? no way. There's... Oh, it's a big, it's a big chest. Oh, a locked man. iron strong oh. box. That's a strong yeah, box. It's not like a. Full of, is it made of wood? Full, full of goodies. No, it's iron. Oh damn! Okay, I mean, this is mind. gonna be a hefty piece yeah. of thing that you're gonna have to try to lug around through here. Mm. Got it. Uh, well, I we'll guess. It. I guess we'll hit it. it on our way back if we. Tie right, a rope around and drag it out of here later. Right, that that is cool. Like a note of the rope. Yeah, rope. <laughs> All right. I got strength. I'll drag it. I don't mind. Let's boogie on out of here. All right, let's go, friends. North. Going north. Yeah, it looks like we got to go north. How far do we uh, want to go? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to use my uh, my divine sense up at where the two where the two uh, pathways were that we didn't go up earlier, right around there. Well, wait, to... let's wait until we get up there, and you can tell me where yeah. exactly you want to use it. Got it. <clears throat> Here we go. I gotta move up. He got stuck on the wall, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess I'm going to go straight up north here. Get yeah. up to that. I see like a corner. Maybe when we get to the corner, I can use it. Right there. All right. I think like right around let's, there. Let's, yeah, let's hold there. here for a second because I had to read something just to double check. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, that other, other area led to the same big uh, hallway, didn't it? 
All right, so you're choosing to use that here, Sim. Yeah. You definitely feel something in the room ahead. There's definitely some undead something mm. beyond beyond that door. Okay. Well, friends we ahead of us in this. Friends ahead of us in this door. There's definitely something something going on. My uh, pally. As you're sitting here, the That's floor shakes annoying. beneath your feet again, and you hear oh that God. distant crashing of waves. My gosh, um, I'm not really too sure what's going on, but uh, door friends, kill stuff, yay! Just yay. Leave it close do it. And leave it. Let's let let's, let's let him go first. Come on. I mean, He's, you sense the undead. Let's go. Hold on, I'm gonna actually go to the right here. I want to go over here real fast and take a look, and then I'll go back. There's a tunnel or a pathway there, and I'm gonna go walk back the other way too. I'm just gonna paste the. Uh, Pacing it. Mm, yeah, I'm not too sure. Looks like there's a couple, um, like halls on each side. Oh look, I'm I'm shocked. This is what I get for for doing a little walk around in here. Yeah, see that? Hold tight. Hold tight. Oh no. Cool. Even though even though we couldn't see him in the this whole hallway to begin with. Oh, never mind. There's no light, huh? Sorry, it's fine. Hold on. I can do something. Is, is, has something happened already? It's in the middle of happening. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, I see something in that thing there. They're called the ghouls. That's one, two, three. Oh, yeah, friends, get ready. So as, you, me off. Oh, go ahead. so as you come over here, um, oh. Sim, as you come around the corner, you're going to stumble upon a ghoul um, that's kind of Ooh. ambling towards you. Um, this is not one of the ones you sensed in the room. This is This is one that was around the corner and wandering south in the hallway and and you stumbled across it as you wandered over here. All right. So, like, as I see it, can I like look back and like signal them that I see something and then take a swing at this thing? Yep. yep go for it, and then we'll do an initiative roll. Okay. Cool. Friends on me. There's a big creepy crawly. It's gonna get smashed, and I'm probably gonna need some help. Okay. Great. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. Right at the face. Wounded okay, it. Everybody nice. roll initiative, please. Oh, well, son of a. Ooh. My rolls, yo. Am I right? I actually don't mind if Sparrow goes last. That's <laughs> a good thing because that yeah. should be you. Good point. I think we can handle this as wounded. We can do this, friend. Okay. Bounty codes first. Probably have to move up. Probably can't see him from here. Right? Yeah, he can't from here. Let's yeah. move up and around the corner. The corner right there. Yeah, you have to move north and then left. So I can see the ghoul number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that big tongue bounty? It's gross, huh? Yeah, I'd say. It's like a venom carnage tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Casting the firebolt. Nice. Nice. <coughs> okay. Sorensen is up next. What is his movement? Thirty. How far away is that? It's 35, so I can just get there. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, if I roll a five or a six. Sorry, Sim. Oh, no. I mean, it's fine. I don't care. All right, you're good. Nothing bad happened. Looked on the cheek, homie. Nothing happened. Shadowbane. Can he fit in there to fight? Yeah, you just have to run over there. Epic run up, jump, and rip the head off. That'd be great. Okay. It's almost dead. Mm -hmm. Roll four. Mm -hmm. Come on, Shadowbane. It's a hit. Oh, it's a hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Saw Simmerg first, so it's going to attack him first. Okay, so. So it's going to. Okay. Oh, missed on both. Aren't you lucky? He's scared. Should Chris be. Not. He gets two attacks. Apparently, a bite and a cleat and a claw, huh? Oh wow! Jeez, I didn't know that. Oh jeez. Christmas. Nasty. Your turn. Yeah. Your turn. <clears throat> uh, I don't see. You'll have to move north. Anything from here. Okay. Uh, that's a little too far, but yeah. Oh, man. Right here. Yeah. And, and now I just can see what time. Get that divine health. Look at that in chat. See it? Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Well, select this. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot with my alarm ball. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a hit. There it is. Jeez, nine. man. Fire. All night. Okay. Yeah, fine. He's carrying the party, you know that, right? It's because yeah. she's been playing Lotro sort for like of. the last two weeks yeah. with her yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's learning how to shoot the bow a little better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You, you've killed the Wandering Pather. Nice. Nice. Okay. Now I'm really going to avoid the... I'm going to roll a... Room. I'm going to roll a six-sided die. If I roll a four, five, or six, the ghouls inside heard the commotion, and they're coming out oh, the front no. door. Oh, I guess we know it's in there now, huh? Yeah. Uh, they did oh, not. Well, you snap. sensed you sensed them earlier, um, right? So they did right. not. They did not hear the commotion outside. So I can sense something, but don't know what it is. Yeah, right. I may have, I may have spoke too soon. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool, friends. We we don't want to go in that room. We want to avoid it. Well, if we don't, they're just going to come out if we have to fight anything else. That's what I'm thinking. So maybe yeah. we got to just charge through on the in south, there. Through that south door. Yeah. Like in, I don't know. North of me, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to head back. I think Igildor could like go stealthy, right? We could just charge in there, scare them, maybe get an advantage and do some shanking up before whatever happens, happens. <laughs> shanking. Shanking. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm going to sneak in here and look oh, for Oh, yeah. These things that he's sensing. Yeah. I can, I can move 25 feet. Well, I guess that's. Oh, is this barracks or something? What is this? I've seen the room, but. You can see them, right, at the door? Yes, I can see them. There's All right. Three well, let's see this. Um, old stone bunks and orderly rows. Make sure I'm in the right room here. Um, line the walls of this chamber in a corroded iron brazier full of cold coals stands near the middle of the room. The bones of a half dozen dwarves and orcs lie strewn about clad in scraps of armor. Three gray hunched figures squat among the remains, pawing at the scraps and gnawing on the bones. Ew. They do oh, not. Oh, well, they're, eat they're eating dinner, guys. We don't want to bother them. <laughs> this is exactly what we want to do. 
Alright, well, I'm just going to attempt to sneak up onto ghoul number one and whack him. Simmer, were you right behind him, by the way? I wanted to, I wanted to him go in there, and as he's getting ready to like do what he's about to do, I'm gonna charge in. Okay, is that cool? Yes, I'll All give right. the two of you advantage. Um, All right, so to just... be able to surprise these, everybody else will need to do an initiative roll, and then you also need to do your sneak attack. That's an additional. Hang on, where's it at? It's not a seven. Okay, and Back to you, yeah, five because you surprised them completely. Nice, fairly. All right, again, and he I'll got give, stuck on the wall. Yeah, I'll give so you an attack, you're... Sim. Okay, cool. So, ghoul one, giving a good old swipe with Talon. Nice. Oh my oh, gosh, oh, dude, it was a oh, one. No, dude. All right. No. So if you hang on, stealth, yeah, this is gonna be fun. If you roll, oh, if I roll a five or a six, it's gonna break. Uh, no, 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 it's gonna, no. No. Uh, break Isidore's stealth, and no. he's gonna take a little bit of damage from your wild no. swing because you charged into the room with a mighty swing, and you're in the clear. <laughs> uh, just whiffs. Nothing but air. <laughs> Trying to create a good teamwork between yeah. him and i here you know <laughs> this would be the right. worst way to <laughs> actually... don't worry i'll save you <laughs> <laughs> my bad oops Didn't all right see you there. everybody needs to roll initiative at this point okay oh wow finally something decent okay cool trying to get into this thing where oh, Drew goes and opens and i like going after right. him you Chris know Ma, like you our first Funk here I don't um, it's I'm going to move <laughs> yeah you have to move into the room so I don't see. see anything yeah here. yeah well hang on I'll get to move over Couple of yeah. sets. No, no, now it is like now move up. Okay. Maximum of twenty because that was about ten over. Uh. Then a uh, little uh, bit, a little here? bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay. But you should have a clear sight of everything now. Yes. You see yeah. the ghouls. Yeah. Yeah, Mary. So from here, I don't know if we can shoot. Yeah, just pick them. one. Uh, okay, I'm going to choose the number two. Sorry, Simmer. I mean, it's okay. Just don't kill me. I believe in you. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to shoot him oh, my... Lumbo. That's a hit. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Seventeen. Okay. Sparrow, yeah, you're man. up. Sparrow's turn. I can get through the door. Yep. You could be right, basically, where she's at. Okay. I'm gonna scoot you over just a little bit to the left so that we can see both sure. your both your um icons. Uh, I don't want two. I want one. It keeps targeting two. <laughs> don't want two. I want one. There we go. <clears throat> pew pew. Oh, That's it. there it is. Up. Yeah. Sound effects required. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> Nice. Simberg. Um, yeah, I think I'm already clicked on goal goal two and therefore we're gonna see if uh Talon will not fill me this time, so let's see if I have him. I mean I mean like oh my god. Well, I hit. can no. She's like Jeez man. It's like gold in my seat. Whew. I will 
twin my chromatic orb on ghoul one and two for one sort of three point. Okay. Move in a little bit too so you can get your line of sight. All right. Excuse me. It's going to block you on the door. I'll manually move you. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to do that with one point. Level one spell. Ghoul one and two. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, that's a lot of dice. Jeez, man. Two well. dead ghouls. All right. Ghoul three is going to look up from its munching. Rawr! And stumble towards first person it saw, which is Simurg. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a swipe. It misses, and it's also going to try to gnaw on your neck. Oh, Ooh. punk, look at you now. Let's go. All right, hold on. Okay, uh, if I roll see, a... If I, if I roll it's because I said that, see? <laughs> I'm going to roll a five or six. If I roll a five or six, let's see what happens. Nope, you're in the clear. Clip it. Evidence. All right. Isidore, you're up. All right, remaining ghoul. <laughs> Ooh. That's a hit. Not sure why it did that twice. Dang. Did it roll your damage twice? Yeah, it did. Let's just, just call now. that your stealth damage because Yeah, that's fine. That's weird. Mm. That is weird. Shadow then, Bane. Oh sorry, you want to go back stealth. to spell yeah, red yeah. DC of five. Could you move me in please up to the ghoul? Well, you won't be able to make it all the way to the what's your movement? He does forty. You get up to about here. He was supposed to be right, but he kept getting stuck on the wall. He oh, was did supposed he? to be behind Sorensen yeah, or not Sorensen, the um, Simmer. All right. Go for it. Um, probably won't hit, but. Oh, we will. In the pool. Get him, Shadow Bang. Chomp, chomp. All right, Sorensen can move up. How much? 30. That's 40, so you can move up to there. That's it. Chris mm. your turn. Okay. I'm to move a little bit from here. And I'm going to select the last goal. What? You did that uh, weird uh, move thing again. Okay. I fixed it. Okay, move here. You already moved, so you just need to and select yes, your yes, target. Yes, I already moved. I need to select this, the last one, and I'm going to shoot him with my long bow. Uh, not oh, no. uh, that's your first miss. Sorry. <laughs> Sparrow. Yeah. Two. All right. All right, I'm just going to use my bow nice and easy. Miss. Simmer. Unbelievable. Dirty ghoul, man. Dirty, dirty ghoul. Ooh. Nice. If the nice. DM decides to... No? So you give a mighty cleave of your yeah. sword and chop that ghoul's head clean off. And it goes flying across the room and hits the wall with a thud crumples to the ground with a 
little bit of a... <laughs> nice. That was a good ending. That was a very good ending. Can I just take a moment to outline? <laughs> Look at him. He's giggling. He already knows where this is going. You all see? Do you see this? Do you see a pattern with our DM? And the paladin. <laughs> with the paladin, right? You saw it. You all saw that shit. <laughs> What's this? You had to save. Yeah, I don't know what he just cast. I oh, weird. cast light on everyone to illumin <gasps> illumine them for an hour. Wait, did it? It's a. Uh... Did it actually work? I don't know. I I, I cast it. I targeted, nope. but no. Nope. It... I clicked on uh, my wolf, and he can't see. Well. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know how that all works. So. But uh, I like Turbo's idea of us having a rest here since it's midnight my time anyway I was just saying, yeah it's a good midnight. so one of the first things sparrow and chris you both need to recover half of your arrows because we haven't done okay. it so far in the dungeon so just if you've used five round up give yourself you know three back does i use a yeah so, so you can get four back four okay okay, okay. and then what are you attempting here are you attempting a short rest or a long rest don't mind either way because I get a full rest from a short rest. So whatever you guys think is more. I haven't used any of my points, but I don't know if, if y'all need to recharge any. I mean, I'm down to, to give it a shot before we move on. I don't know. I've, I've been pretty stingy, so I'm, I'm I've been okay. saying maybe just a short rest then. Everybody's good with it. Okay. We're gonna do oh, a it's short nothing rest. too crazy. Yeah. And then we're also going to roll for wandering monsters. And you're in the clear. All right, cool. That is a stopping point for tonight. Do we recover hit points? Nice. Um, actually, so, yes. Sorry, I thank you for reminding me before we do that. So you need to go to your character mm -hmm. sheet on the main page. Yeah. If you are missing hit points, if like Chrisma doesn't miss any, she's fine. Neither is Sparrow. Shall um, At the bottom. At the bottom of your. At the bottom of your character sheet, where it said how many wounds you have, below that you should see where it says HD, mm -hmm. and there should be a die next to that. Click that. That will recuperate hit points for the short rest. Oh, nice, dude! Um, it was five. I don't have a die. I have that little loop thing. Yes, but you don't. You're not missing right. any hit points. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Shadowbane is. Oh. What is his hit die again? Oh, was that two? Yeah, I'll look it up real quick. What's I think we do one d four for him, right? NPCs open. Mm. He is two d eight plus two hit points. Well, that's the that's the normal. He does half of that, so he doesn't actually have a hit die there but he has a plus one to con so it'd be a 1d4 plus one i believe oh. he recovered two two <laughs> he recovered two wow okay uh, so nine. Oh, you did it okay yep so that everybody is a stopping point for the adventure this nice. evening Thank you to those of you who tuned in live tonight on Twitch. Don't forget, if you're a first-time person here, don't forget to follow the page. If you want to throw a sub, that'd be awesome. We're going to be giving away these hand-painted miniature figurines. We're doing a raffle for those. Um, we will be back again, same time, same place, next week, 9 p.m. Central here on Twitch. If you're watching this after the fact over on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you get a bit for all the other content. And check the description link below. You will find links to Sims, um, YouTube channel, Sparrows, Twitch, um, Sorensen, a.k.a. the Nathan Napalm's YouTube channel. All those links are there. You can also head over to our Patreon page to find out more about what we're working on with the Weave of the Void. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits. Join our Discord. All the links are down below, either on Twitch or 
YouTube for you to follow along accordingly. Uh, Tuesday, I'll be back uh, live streaming here on Twitch at 5 p.m. Central, continuing to paint miniatures. We'll be back Wednesday night for the next stand-up as we continue to talk about our 5th edition tabletop module, a point-click adventure game, and uh, the book chapters, chapter 12, which was published last Thursday, if you want to check that out over on the Patreon page. Um, did some mock-ups recently of the cover art that Chris is working on for... Um, the two books, the tabletop books, and a bunch of other stuff. So if we don't see you here, we'll see you in Discord or over at Patreon. Thanks so much, everybody, for following along. I'll let everybody do a roundtable goodbye tonight as we sign off for the evening. See ya. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming. Good, Good night, night everyone. Thanks for hanging. Bye. See you next week, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>